If you're like Bonesworth and I, you like shopping online, you have Amazon showing up on your front porch all the time, uh, maybe not every day, maybe every other day between myself and my wife and my daughter, but a few months ago, I started noticing these large white bags showing up on our front porch, and it was for my wife. I'd never heard of this company before, and then I got on their app and realized that they have everything you could ever think of at really low price. Who is that company? Timu. <laughs> and I had this crazy thought. I wonder if I can buy crime scene equipment on Timu. So I did. And that's exactly what we're gonna look at today is the crime scene supplies of how to solve a murder using Timu. <laughs> Whether you need a vacuum that is just for getting the crumbs in between the seats of your car, uh, a plastic strip that goes on the base of your toilet to prevent grime, or an in-car dash cam to catch all the crazy stuff on the highway, Timu literally has it all and for kind of silly prices. So I had this crazy idea of, I wonder if I can buy equipment that I would use to solve crime scenes. Um, so I ordered crime scene supplies from Timu, and today we're going to unbox it and take a look. Um, I honestly don't remember what I ordered because I just kind of started going a little crazy with it. I think all in all, I probably spent like 40 bucks. Um, so, things we have. I should note that this video is not sponsored by Timu. First thing, in excellent crushed condition, we have a fingerprint verification set. Uh, and in this fingerprint verification set of scientific experiments, science and fun, entertainment, education, explore. A simple and interesting experiment. Do you know looking for fingerprints is the most familiar job for forensic scientists? When people touch objects, they leave grease and dry sweat on their fingertips, as well as recognizable marks on their palms and toes. I don't think that's quite how that works, but yeah, I get the idea. So this has a fingerprint pad. Let's just open this up and actually see what is in here. side so in here um, I don't know if that's Mandarin or Cantonese but I can read that it's for children eight and up Ooh, and they do have on the back a little fingerprint classification chart um, <laughs> we have arch loop whirl these are all correct ah this is my favorite one this is <laughs> the pucker loop I think they meant pocket loop, but uh, pucker loop. That's a new one. Uh, so yeah, we have uh, uh, a set of, of broken protective goggles. I can, uh, at least they broke straight down the center, so I can tape them. I can tape them back together. <laughs> we have It says uh, baby powder. I guess you're supposed to put baby powder in here and use it as your fingerprint powder to go with your little fingerprint brush. This is actually like a brush that you might use on like acrylic paint. Um, I mean, it would probably totally kind of work. Um, I don't see why not. I was kind of hoping to try these out, but I guess it didn't come with powder, so that's not gonna happen. Ah, yes the classic scotch tape, because that's totally what we use, and totally can't get the... Oh. oh, come on. This is why you dog ear your tape, so that it's easy to get up. And I'm gonna be here for hours trying to get this. Anyways. What else do we have in here? We have, ooh, our forensic lab examiner ID card, so we can Stick that right here so that you know I'm official. 
Come on. There we go. A little air thing to blow excess powder off of uh, off of surfaces when you're looking for fingerprints. This is actually, uh, they make little pocket rocket ones that are actually really useful. So this actually is a really useful tool. Magnifying glass, always helpful. And then we have, uh, ah yes, a, a fingerprint pad that you put ink on and you, I guess, are taking prints. This is odd. Um, yeah, so there's your fingerprint verification set without the things that you would need to actually find fingerprints, like powder. So next up out of the bag, we have a portable optical microscope um, because we have looked for fingerprints with our fingerprint kit. And now we need to find trace evidence and like hairs and fibers. And so we have this handy dandy pocket microscope. Let's see. Enjoy the micro new world. Science illuminates intelligent life under the microscope. The micro world gives you new knowledge. Ages 12 and up. Well, that's good. I guess, I don't know why an eight year old can't use this, but no eight year olds can use this. So let's see, it's got, it's got a battery compartment, but how do you open it? I have no idea how to open the battery compartment. I should probably close my mouth. Y'all will end up making a meme out of me. Okay, so let's see, this takes three AAA batteries. I don't have any AAA batteries with me, but I get the idea. It's, it's got a little built-in LED light to illuminate things that you turn on and off. But we have enough light here in the studio to try and let's, let's see if we can't see the end of this. Take the glasses off. Meh. It's probably better if you actually have batteries to put into the uh, LED light, but it looks like It'll go from uh, 60 power up to 120 power. I believe it when I see it. Um, but it's a cool little little device. I, I can use it to find, you know, hairs and fibers. What else do we have in here? Let's see. We have ah, a few measuring tools. So this is a uh, this is called a caliper. And I use calipers to measure bullet holes or um, bullets. I use them to measure blood stains. Um, and so what it is is on here, you slide the scale and it opens this to be able to, you know, like measure your nose or whatever else you want to measure. Now the question is that I have, and I've got a, a scale that we're going to compare to this, is, is this actually accurate? That's the big question. So I have a ABFO number two scale here by Tritech Forensics, and we're going to compare whether or not the millimeters actually line up to be the correct size. Huh, that is not expected. It's actually accurate. So, score, we actually got a pair of calipers that are accurate, they're in metric. Um, and they're also in inches on the top. I don't have anything in inches to kind of compare against, but the, I would imagine they're right since the, the meters, the little millimeters are right. So there's a pair of calipers that I think I spent probably like a dollar on. That's pretty neat. So a lot of what we do in crime scene work is measuring things. Um, so we go from calipers to just a standard scale. This is on the back, it says 5.9 inch, 15 centimeter, made in China. 
let's see. So, not made in America. It's okay. Oh, there are two. Ha! Two for one special. All right, let's let's compare and see if these are accurate. I like the little slips that they come in. All right, so is this actually eight centimeters? Survey says, once again, when lined up with the ABFO number two scale, it's accurate. So we got uh, these 15 centimeter or six inch on the other side scales that are stainless steel, come with a little protective cover, probably spent like two or three bucks on them, and they're accurate, so that's pretty cool. So surprising, the measuring devices are actually printed correctly. All right, next on the list we have, what is this? UV 395 millimeter light. Okay, so this is uh, what you might call a black light. Uh, this is looking at the ultraviolet spectrum and this is 395 nanometers. So we use this to uh, look at fingerprints or biological fluids or a variety of different um, evidence, a variety of different evidence in uh, forensic application work. Once again, I need batteries. I'm gonna need to go get some batteries here in a second. I have no idea how to open this. Well, it's not gonna work because you can't put a battery in it. Got a little button on it though. It doesn't come with directions. So next out of the Mary Poppins bag of surprises, we have this. And I completely forgot that I had ordered this. This is, this is an out like a breathalyzer, an Alka sensor. Um, so we're gonna test this out. You know, it tests for blood alcohol concentration. I uh, see, you know, you blow into it on this side and it tells you um, if there's any alcohol in your system it's used in DUIs and stuff like that. Um, so I don't drink, but my uh, stepdad just went to go grab a beer and he's gonna take a quick swig of it and we're gonna see if we can't get this puppy to register it. <laughs> All right, so this is Jim. Jim, say hello to everybody. Hi, guys. All right, so we're going to see if this puppy works <laughs> for science. <laughs> All right, ready? I'm ready. You're going to blow for as long as you can. Go, go, go. Keep going, 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 keep going until all the air is out of your lungs. We are testing. Hey, there we go. Hey, it worked. 0. 0.0 or 0. 0.40, so it's a 0.04. And keep going. You can keep going, yeah. <laughs> there we go. So uh, now, obviously, I have no way to actually validate this to see if you're actually a 0.04, but, um, or a point, oh, no. Oh, no, that's a 0.4, yeah. If you were a point, 0.08. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh, if you were a 0.4, you would Five actually times. be, yeah, you would be dead. Yeah. <laughs> it is, you know, you pretty much go into a coma at 0.03 or at, see, I'm getting it all. It's been so long since I've worked UI. Um, yeah, so at 0.4. Yeah, so at 0.4, you would, you would more than likely be dead. Unless you're a functioning alcoholic, which. Well, the guy behind you is dead. Yeah, I mean, here. Well, let's see if bones worthy. There you go. <laughs> keep blowing, keep blowing. Oh, oh, you yeah, have lungs. So maybe, once again, I have no way to validate this, but novelty for five bucks. You know, a little party trick. And last in our Timu, Timu, Timu. Last in our Timu tools for solving crime, we have a three-in-one digital microscope. Uh, and so this is a USB uh, microscope that sits on a sand. I actually used one very similar to this at work. Um, so I know that these actually work really well. Uh, it's got kind of like a LED light here at the base of it. We, we can take this little protective cover off. Oh, comes with a little nifty little stand that you can sit it in. It just snaps in like this. You plug this into your computer and then you can um, use it to look at things. Uh, this feels incredibly cheap, but 
I bet you that this actually works and I bet you it works really well. Let me go grab my laptop. All right, so we've got uh, wires everywhere. We've got the little digital microscope with the light plugged into the uh, laptop and got the laptop pulled up. Let's raise this so that you can see. We're gonna look at the print on the directions and you can see how cool is that? We're, we're actually like looking at like the dot level of the printing, that's pretty neat. So that's super, super tiny because this is super tiny print. Oh, let's try something else. Oh, I've got some slides around here somewhere. Where are those slides at? We'll try this. So this is a uh, slide for a microscope that's got a uh, stained uh, for human skin. So let's look and see if that actually works. Oh yeah, it does. Y'all, that's actually really impressive. $15 digital microscope. So this is actually really kind of like the dino lights that I use at work um, to find like blood stains and gunshot residue and all that kind of cool trace evidence stuff. Oh, and it's got a little snap button so I can take pictures with it. I can change, adjust the dial right here to adjust my um, my focus. What's this button? Oh, I can adjust the lighting levels. That's pretty neat. So yeah, there you go. If you want a digital microscope to look at all kinds of small things like human tissue. How about a fingerprint? Oh yeah, y'all, that, that is, you're looking at the pores of my fingerprint. That's really neat. So 15 bucks on Timu. That's actually probably the best one out of them all. And I'm glad I saved it for last. So there you go, Timu, crime scene tools. We can actually now go solve crime with the help of $5 trinkets. Hopefully you enjoyed today's episode uh, on Bonesworth. I know got a kick out of all of this stuff. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Uh, it really does help our channel. Subscribe for future content. If you have ideas like this, um, leave it in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you guys think. I'm Detective Zach, and uh, until next time, stay curious. I did figure out how to eventually open this UV light, um, but that is a battery size that I have no idea what it is. It is not kind of a normal one, so we're gonna assume that this light probably works because um, you can buy these kind of cheap UV lights just about anywhere. 